Hello. Good morning, everyone. Um, welcome back to Tuesday's Treasure. Hello. I am so grateful that um, you are joining me this morning and that um, yeah, that you're here, whether you're watching right now or whether you watch this um, a little bit later, I just want to say hello and let me know if you're watching with me this morning. would love to say hi. But again, I'm just so glad and grateful that you are here taking time out of your day, your morning um, to just yeah, listen to what God has been teaching me and um, showing me this um, morning. So grateful for that. I hope that you um, have been able to get lots done. Good morning, Maretta. Hello. Hope your day is going well, your morning is going well and um, are having a good morning at work. Um and this morning, I have been reading in Isaiah. I've actually been taking time to read through Isaiah, which I don't know if I mentioned this before, but I love reading Isaiah at least once a year. It just really helps my heart. <laughs> and I, um, yeah, I just love it. It's one of my favorite um, books in the Bible. But today, this morning, I thought I would read um, in Isaiah 40, and the verse is 25 through 26. Um, it says, to whom will you compare me, or who is my equal, says the Holy One. Lift up your eyes and look to the heavens who created all these who he who brings out the starry host one by one and calls forth each of them by name because of his great power and mighty strength. Not one of them is missing. Good morning, um, Sydney. <laughs> Isaiah is amazing. Yes, it is. It's one of my favorite. Um, okay, I really like this passage. I also. I also love just all of Isaiah 40. Um, I love Isaiah 41. I've shared some scriptures from there. I love Isaiah 53. There's just, just so much that you can unpack from Isaiah. And God speaks a lot um, to his people. And um, even, yeah, just speaks to Isaiah and tells him to communicate with um, Israel. But even in this passage that I just read, I love how I even starts. It says, to whom will you compare me or who is my equal, says the Holy One. And I love this because it kind of like, it just humbles me out of there is no one that I can compare God to. No one at all, nothing or no one is worth comparing to God. Like God is divine. He is, you know, even set apart from everyone and anything else in this world. He is um, the one who even has created everything. It even says, you know, um, lift up your eyes and look to the heavens. Like who created all this? Um, and it's him, like it's God. I look around me and I see all the foundations. I see the sky and I see, you know, these beautiful um, buildings and landscape and trees and flowers and just everything in this world. And it really is just incredible to me because I think sometimes in my, I don't know, just be, like being busy or I think just getting blinded by the world. Um, I can sometimes forget that it's really God who's laid this, this earth, this foundation, that he is the one that's created it. 
And, and so it just humbles me out um, that he's the one that has put everything together. Um, it's not man-made. It's, it's all him. It's all God. Um, and I have to remember that. I have to remember that it's him who has um, put everything on this earth, all the creatures, all the animals, all the people, and um, that it's, it's foolish for me to want to compare him to anyone or want to put anything or anyone in God's place, you know, like Netflix or her um, relationships or just materialistic things. These things that are dust, they're nothing. And um, they're, they're nothing to compare. They can't bring me the peace that God can or the joy there's nothing that's, yeah, comparable and, or even, you know, I can't even say anything about myself in that way either. Like I can't, I'm dust, I'm nothing and no one compared to who God is. And um, I also love this idea. It says, you know, he brings out the starry host one by one and calls them forth each by name. And I love the stars. I don't know if anyone else loves the stars, but I love the stars. And I remember a few years ago, it had to be in 2017, I was at camp and I was a counselor to eight and nine year olds, which was so much fun. (laughs) They're hilarious. And I just remembered we had a time, even a night, it was called, um, I see, I think it was like stargazing night or something like that. And we could pick to go and stay wherever we wanted. And so there's a waterfall and a bridge at this camp in, um, Philadelphia and well in Pennsylvania, but it's near, um, Philadelphia. And I just remember these girls were so brave because we went really, really far away from everyone else. And again, these are eight and nine year olds. So they're super brave because I was like in my twenties and walking to this place, like you have to walk down a really long, um, it's kind of like a a road because you can drive in there, but it's, you're surrounded by woods and then there's like a bridge and it's dark very, very dark. And then you have water on your left and tons of woods and trees on your right. And there's, there are no lamps, like you're just in complete darkness. And I just remember like, I was a little scared (laughs) and these girls were so brave. But when we um, were on the bridge, that's where they decided that they wanted to sleep Um, and stargaze. And we were just all looking up at the sky, my counselor, um, myself, one of my counselors, myself, and all my, my um, little campers. And we were just looking up and we were in awe because it was so dark and you could hear um, the waterfall that was next to us. And, but, but you could just see every single star. It was beautiful. It was so amazing. And we were just talking about, wow, like God created every single one of these stars and even reminding me of this scripture, actually, like he knows each by name. And so we just really were talking and thinking about the fact that we, like, if he knows the stars that well, like how much more does he know us and care for us? And I think a lot of times we can be so afraid that we're going to be forgotten or not known or, um, you know, like, will God remember or, or remember that I'm in this difficult situation or that right now, like life in the pandemic is really hard or um, trying something new is or getting out of our comfort zone is very scary um or you know 
there's a dream that I have, but I just, yeah, that's just terrifying or whatever it may be for you, whether it's health or a family situation or a new journey that you're, you know, embarking right now, that's terrifying. Or um, I think for students, like this is so new and different. A lot of them are, are remote and um, some of them are starting freshman year and can't even be on their campus or doing freshman year the same way that other people have been able to. And so there's just so many different things right now um, that can, yeah, be a part of life that's a trial or something that's scary. But I think what I love about this scripture is it helps me even in things that I'm trying to figure out right now in my life that, um, that God is like in control. He's the Holy one. Like no one compares to him. And I have to trust and believe that he's going to take care of me because he is in control. And we've been um, really setting out heaven. That has been so helpful for my heart. Just remembering like, okay, focusing on that, like that's the promised land this right now and life is so temporary. My hardships, my struggles is so temporary. Um, but you know, heaven is eternal. Like walking with him is what's really important. And, um, I, I love this ending of because of his great power and mighty strength and that one of them is missing and remembering that is the same with us that because of his mighty, you know, strength and power, like, God knows us and he will not forget us. And um, so that's been just helpful for my heart this morning. That's what I've been reflecting on um, and something for me to really just continue to pray about as well. And so I just for myself, I'm going to take more time to pray about it. And um, but just really grateful that I have a God who um, is in control. And that's what this scripture really helps me. And I um, love the rest of this passage and encourage everyone to take time to read it because it's just very, very helpful. But thank you so much for tuning in and spending time with me this morning, just what God has been really speaking to me and what I've been really reflecting on. Um, but I hope that you all have an incredible day. And again, thank you so much for just, yeah, tuning in um, to Tuesday's Treasure. And I just want to wish everyone a happy Tuesday and rest of your week. Thank you so much. Goodbye, Maretta, um, Sydney, and everyone else who um, has tuned in or will be tuning in in the future. Thank you. Bye, everyone.